Hey guys, in this tutorial we'll be going over how to create uh, spawned enemies. So we're going to create a node, we're going to have a bunch of enemies spawn at one time, and then uh, we'll wait five seconds and make another batch of enemy spawn. And then, um, yeah, it'll keep looping through there and it'll keep spawning enemies and it will send them to a node. So what you want to do first is create a node 1 and a node 2. Node 1 is going to be your spawn location. Node 2 is going to be where they're going to. And all you have to do is go in here and create empty game object and you can rename it node or rename it whatever you want. Next thing you want to do is uh, we'll go check out the AI minions code. So pretty much this just uses the uh, code that we used in the other tutorial for the AI follow. The only difference is I put in some randoms here. And this code will be updated uh, as we go through the tutorials a little bit more. We're going to be adding in like uh, different positions of the enemy so they're not all following in a straight line. And uh, I already went in and did random speed so it'll every time this updates um, it will change the speed at which they're traveling. So yeah that's pretty much all that it's hasn't really ta changed that much so and then we have our spawn minions code and this is pretty much our other code that we used before for spawning prefabs but in this one we went through and we set up the for loop a lot different so the spawn uh, so you can spawn a bunch of enemies at one time so what it'll do is it'll go through and it will spawn all the enemies uh, every 0 0.2 seconds that that makes up uh, and then yeah it'll spawn them at the location and it'll keep looping through here until X gets to 7 and then once it gets to 7 it'll wait 5 seconds and it'll subtract from X and then allow you to go through there again so it'll subtract it yeah to 8 um, but yeah, so for those pieces of code, what you want to do first is create a AI minion. Um, and I don't know why it had the player tag on there, but yeah, create a random box that is a minion and throw the AI minions code on there. And you don't have to mess with the target or transform because it's all in the thing. And then uh, one other thing you want to do for the uh, node 2, you want to tag it with node 2. So if you don't know what tags are yet, you go in here, drop this down. You can change the size, which is the amount of tags you can add in. Click in one of these boxes and type in node 2, just like that. And then you want to go back on to your minion and drop this down, or not the minion, but the uh, node 2 drop this down and select node 2 from the list. That way you can find the tag and it'll know where to go in the scene. And so after all that's done, you want to go and create a prefab. So just create a folder and uh, create new prefab. And then once it's created, you want to take your minion and drag and drop it onto the prefab. And all your code and stuff should be in here and we'll be able to uh, yeah, spawn at the location. And then the last thing that I did was, uh, let's see here, at node 1 I put the spawn minion script. So that's the point that they're going to be spawning from. And then you want to drag uh, node 1 onto itself in that spot, and then drag your prefab onto there. And that's all you need to do and they'll spawn and move to that location every five seconds and waves. So we'll go and check this out real quick. You can see that they're changing speeds and I want to spread them out in future tutorials and we'll be going over how to make them stop and attack uh, the player if they interrupt them or have them fight each other so I have two waves that will randomly target each other and try killing each other and then 
then, um, yeah, we can make them, once they get to the tower, start attacking it, and all that stuff. So right now, yeah, this is messed up because of the distance. We're going to have to adjust the script a little bit, but once we start programming the AI to be a lot smarter and can do all that stuff, uh, it'll look a lot nicer than this. But yeah, that's the basics for spawning your minions and getting them to move to a different point. So we'll go over how to uh, also move to more nodes. So after they destroy a tower, make them move to uh, another node and so on. So hope you guys keep watching. Uh, stay tuned until next time.